So this is the 11-12 girls 100 fly A final. Mackenzie Gupton for men cap in one. For men cap in two is Eleanor's son. We already saw her winning the 100 IM. Madison So from Long Island is in two. Tess Howley, we've seen plenty of her, won a lot of events this weekend. By far the top time this morning at 58-1-1. So the top three swimmers, all from Long Island, Kaven Gordonson in five. Lauren Clark from NCAP is in six. Kiera Ong from Wilmington is in seven. And Michelle Guan from Asphalt Green in eight. All right, 100 fly, not an event. Uh, these girls are very good at it. Obviously, 58-1, there's a 12-year-old girl is uh, moving. But a lot of 11-12s would not want to swim 100 fly, and you can, uh, can't really blame them. But they swam the 200 fly yesterday, so I'll give them that. A lot of different variations in stroke here I'm seeing. Lean four, Howley's got kind of more of a 200 stroke, even though she does get over with a lot of power, it looks like. This is something we've talked about, Andrew, the first couple days. Fly, that your stroke changes as you go through different races more than other strokes. Your 50 fly stroke is not your 400 IM stroke. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the 50 flies, is, you're looking for all power. Um, you know, probably shouldn't even be, don't need to really breathe, really. Where 4 IM, it's all about being efficient um, while maintaining as much speed as you can. And then the different variations in between. The 100 flies somewhere in the middle. Out in lane two, Eleanor's son looking for another win, and she's going to get... No, it's a tie. They both Dead go 58 4 heat. 6. Kaven Gormson third in a 59 07. So another win for Sun and Howley. Not that as quick as she was earlier this afternoon, but gets it done and a win's a win.